The next big phases of the redevelopment include the completion of the Howard Street Bridge right behind me, the Louf Carousel, and of course the U.S. Pavilion just north of the river here. They've got a lot of work to do, but they've already made some great progress on those projects. For a better look, we take to the sky in our KXOY drone, Air 4. From the ice ribbon just up the river, a busy scene as contractors work to update a true Spokane landmark. The Louvre Carousel is, is such a beloved treasure for Spokane. It's over 100 years old, and the old building didn't do it justice for a couple of reasons. One, it wasn't climate controlled, and so those antique courses were going to suffer over time. And second, you could drive by and not really know it was there. While the actual carousel itself is in storage, its new housing will be complete this spring a space that should really help it shine. So this new building is really, a, we call it a jewel box because it's glass, it's light. It's gonna highlight that carousel in a way it's never been highlighted before. North of the carousel, the U.S. Pavilion and home of the old ice palace. The city knows Spokane families and visitors alike have made some real memories there. They hope the new design will continue and enhance that legacy. A possible home for things like Nike Center Court, concerts, or food and beer festivals. The master plan for the pavilion really called for it to be a lantern in the community, and that's what you see reflected in those the lighting design. I think you'll be able to, to see it from miles around. And we're really looking at it as a multi-use event center. While that's happening in 2018, the city will also complete the new North Promenade that will serve as the grand entrance to the park, as well as the new playground located on the north banks of the river. The entire renovation should be complete in mid to late 2019. You can learn more about that and what's to come online at KXLY.com. I'm Casey Lund for KXLY 4 News.